Welcome everybody, my name is James and I've been reselling on eBay for over 20 years. I sell over 2,000 items a month. So during this video, make sure you comment below on your favorite item sold. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all that jive and let's get to pulling some orders. It's just another manic Tuesday. Whoa. Okay, that one doesn't work, right? All right, what's up, everybody? Time to get to shipping. That's the stuff we pulled last night in last night's video. And here we have new arrivals that sold. All right. Wheeling security hat sold for $11. Dale Earnhardt Sr. hat sold for $14. We got some Skechers, sold for $16. And we've got American Graffiti LP, sold for $7. I think I'm just gonna pull everything first today and then I'll ship. So let's get to pulling. Pulling, pulling, pulling. Get that product pulling. Pulling, pulling, pulling. eBay sold. Would you like to squeeze in here with me? Look at this. Yeah, I don't can tell you how many times I hit my back or belly on those corners. <laughs> All right. So we are looking for a Beach Boys cassette. Or so I thought. Let me recheck that. I didn't see these down here. Let's see. There we go. All right, Beach Boys Forever sold for eight dollars. All right, we've got Peterbilt hat sold for eleven bucks. Growing up the way I did with my dad doing some uh, truck driving across the country, you get to learn. You learn to love like truck stops and. Um, the smell of diesel and all that good stuff. And I remember as a kid, there was a truck stop I loved going to called Dixie Truck Stop. There was two of them, one in Illinois, and I don't remember where the other one was, but I used to always love it when he stopped at those rest stops because then I would get like a magazine and read the magazine while in the truck. But later on in life, when I was older, when I was doing dealer trades for the dealership for the fun of it and so I could thrift <laughs> along the way uh, I passed one and I'm like I'm not going to stop because I don't want to ruin the image I had of it as a kid so I don't know if you ever had that as an adult where you go back and see something as a child that you've seen as a child and it's totally different it doesn't live up to your memories so I didn't want to ruin that memory and when I looked over at the truck stop it was pretty empty anyway so I was figured it was going to be kind of disappointing so I did not stop and I didn't want to ruin my memory. So <laughs> funny story. Alrighty, here we go. CD sold for five fifty. Alright, one of these Waylon and Willie cassettes sold for six dollars. These I picked up. Whenever you see some cassettes I picked up with these little prices on the spine. I always try to go to the Smoky Mountains every year. And there was a store there called Music Outlet or Country Music USA. They also had country outlets or music outlets throughout the United States, throughout this region, I should say. But every time I'd go down to Smoky Mountains, I'd stop at Country Music USA and find inventory. And one of the last times they were around when I was down there, they were selling everything for a dollar a piece, cassette wise. And so I ended up buying like a couple of thousand cassettes from them for a dollar a piece. And still got a bunch in storage and laying around. So, all right. The best of Burt Kempfert, something like that, sold for $5.50. All right. World Series Champions Cardinals, New Era hat, sold for $11. <laughs> and we've got this one that sold for $11. And it's the same person. They had to pay separately, probably because of the eBay. Well, no, because they didn't send offers. So 
Hmm, he just bought them separately. So we'll get that fixed. All right, Carla Bonoff, self-titled album, sold for $6. I guess sales really didn't pick up too much after I stopped, so I stopped around seven. So between seven and 2 a.m., that would have been 12 California time for the day change. What are you doing? It says what, uh, three, four, five, six, seven hours, only did $200. So I only ended with like eight something. So it wasn't, wasn't as good a day as prior week, but uh, hopefully today will be better. All right, we got this Daytona 500 hat with the tags sold for $24. All right, the Ray Charles Singers, here's to my lady. Vinyl sold for $8. All right, Space Hog in the meantime, cassette single. Sold for $11. I got this women's denim jacket with the cool design on the back. Uh, that sold for $9. Bering Sea Saloon, Nome, Alaska. You watch Bering Sea Gold? I, yeah, I do. I love Gold Rush and Bering Sea Gold. Bear, I say Gold Rush and uh, Curse of Oak Island are probably my two favorite shows I will not miss no matter what. But uh, I do watch the Bering Sea Gold also. Not as great as the other ones, but pretty cool to see what that Paul, or what's his name, Sean Ponranke guy comes up with. So he's always putting his neck out and stuff. So I like people who do that. So uh, that's the part of the show I enjoy the most, watching what he's going to do. But anyway, this hat sold for $10. All right, got these boots, been in the store forever. And finally sold them for $10. Three, two, one. Are you ready for a CD lot? Yeah. All right, we got three CDs that sold for $17. Here's number one, number two. And I'm gonna give you a tip here. Um, if you have any around here, we've, and I know they're not just around here, I don't think. Um, they're called their music stores and everything called um hold on let me think of the name vintage stock they have music movies toys comics all kinds of stuff if you have any of those in your area one thing to look for in there when it comes to cd wise is you go to the little uh bargain bin and look for a barcode that's like generic it doesn't have like the title and what have you on it just a generic barcode those are just checked in as like generic or clearanced out as generic so there can be and there are collectible cds that are in those bins this did not come from there but this was from a the same style for um, warehouse music when we'd put stuff under generic that wasn't in our system computer system so a lot of that collectible stuff's not in vintage stocks computer system and you can find some gems there i found cds for worth over 100 bucks in those bins so little tip so cd number two for the lot i need some light all right we're looking for cd number three called dolphin something dang james all right i need to look a little bit harder Here's more of the Hastings buyout stuff. <laughs> and there it is. I had to concentrate, man. All right, we got three CDs. I always feel like Vern is watching me. Three CDs for, what'd I say? 17? $17. All right, we got a St. Louis Rams Bradford jersey. Sold for eleven dollars. All right, we got the DVD sold for five fifty. Did you just fart? Did you just toot? <laughs> D seventy six. Speaking of country music USA and the Smoky Mountains, and they had stores called uh, Music Outlets. This is a CD from them, way back when. Really not around no more. I think he, I think the owner still sells on Amazon. 
because there was, <laughs> I used to have a warehouse actually down the street from me, funny thing. And I was talking to somebody in the warehouse and I go, well, get, just give me a list on uh, the stuff you're looking for because they always had uh, certain CDs I would buy like sleaze bees and a lot of like glam 80s stuff that was collectible. A lot of 70s, um, red rockers, um, lake. There was a bunch of different stuff I'd buy from them and I'd get for three dollars that I could sell for twenty plus dollars. So I gave him the list and never heard from him again. Next thing I know he's selling on Amazon. And this was, you know, 15, 16 years ago. So they took my information and benefited from it. But oh well, it's a chance you take. I was hoping to get into that warehouse and just to do a lot of picking. I had stopped by, talked to the people, etc. But never got in. So sadly, sadly. But the CD sold for five bucks. So it's been here forever. And we got a Victoria's Secret floor bra, pink bra, sold for $12. All right, here we are, midday, getting the rest of the shipping done for today. We just hit two o'clock a little after. So uh, we're gonna get to pulling. Uh, since I have not made the video yet for Honey Hole, I don't know. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to do it after I get it all listed and just do a, a computer shot. But this is a couple of the items I picked up. Poster boards of banana. Banana. <laughs> banana white. Van white. So I got those with that stereo, the CD player, super audio CD player that I sold already for 60 something. So new arrivals that sold. We only got two. Sales have been still kind of sluggish. Um, there, the thing is, so I've been doing some Christmas shopping on eBay, uh, during some searches, the site wouldn't let me search. It said there's an error with blah, 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 wouldn't, wouldn't let me search. And then, and then I bought two things, checked out the first time. Okay, fine. Went through. Went to check out the second time, and it took a few different tries to actually check out. It wouldn't just let me check out. So, clearly there is still site issues going on. I've experienced them firsthand. And just for the little bit I was on eBay shopping, to have two issues like that was pretty great when you could, in the percentage-wise, <laughs> of the short time I was on doing it. So, that was uh, very disheartening, but to say the least. And so we're going to get into this. And underneath this hat, I tell you all the time, if a hat is dirty, don't let that discourage you from buying it. That being said, first up, we've got the Fox 2 hat. It's a news channel here in St. Louis, sold for $11. And then for $13, I sold this Titleist hat. Distressed like a mofo, I'm telling you, yo. People love this stuff. I love this stuff. It's just freaking awesome. Look at that. Boom, boom. It's a beautiful thing. Look at that. Oh, so awesome. You you, you can't recreate that. That's just kick-ass hat. So, so for 13 I priced it kind of low, $15.99. And then my sale kicked in, whatever. So, they got it for $13. Bucks. I probably could have got more out of it. But that's all right. So let's get to pulling the rest of these and get this video uploaded. All right, we got Tucson hat. Get you none of that because it's sold. We can do a little take on Richard Rawlings, right? We didn't We didn't copyright in French by changing an upload. Get you none of that because it's sold. There we go. Uh, sold for $8. Suspect. 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 What are you up to? You going to make me move? <laughs> All right, there we got the Wins Wisconsin Badges here. And the hat sold for $11. Mm. We got the Google shirt. And if you're watching the Honey Hose Sessions, you will know I paid a dollar for this shirt. And it sold for $14. We got this Adidas hat sold for $9.50. All right, we got this Camouflage Palms hat, Las Vegas. So far, $11. 11 dogs. 11 dogs. 11 dog hairs. All right, we got a Redbird's hat here that sold for $6. All 
All right, we got what I believe is some kind of little league team out of St. Louis here. This one sold for $10. All right, we're looking for C and S Street Jazz cassette. Sold for $11. All right, we're looking for Sealy Winter. There we go. Sold for $7. All right, we got a Fox Racing hat, sold for $11. Are you ready for a cassette like yeah. All right, we got Vixen. Cause I'm crying, crying. And we got Prisoner, rip it up. Two cassettes sold for $20. All right, we got the Sloggers brand hat, sold for $10. It hasn't fallen over yet. So I think these boxes are holding it up. We're going to Z29 because the hat sold for $29. And that's this puppy. As soon as I get it all undented. But this pretty little hat sold for $29. All right, Bale, Colorado. Well, is it Colorado, I guess? Uh, uh, yep, yeah. it had the registered trademark, so I thought it might have been a company or something. Uh, Vail Colorado hat sold for $6. All right, Straws Waltz cassette sealed sold for $11. Has he lost his mind? Can he see or is he blind? Black Sabbath paranoid cassette tape only sold for $6. All right, we got the Nutcracker. Ow! Cassette sold for five fifty. Uh, yeah, I figured that would be easy because it's in the digi pack. Alice in Chains CD sold for eight dollars. Cause I'm TNT. Oi, oi. Minecraft hat sold for nine fifty. <laughs> the whole thing almost started coming out. She's got the look. Wrong song, but that's all right. I don't put too much rock set. Show sure do be cooking in my book. The face is slamming your pot. Oh, wait, I'm mixing up two songs there, ain't I? She's got the look is not. Rock set did She's Got the Look too, but I was singing the wrong version. Oh, that's funny. All right, Rock set Dangerous cassette single sold for $5.50. Hey, classical Christmas. Oh, so I live tonight. Oh, early. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, CDC holds hope for five fifty. <laughs> this concludes the midday shipping episode. Stunchums. Time to go get more stuff listed. Let's get it on, kitties. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you gotta wait for him.